I wish I could donate many things at a time. Ooh, indeed, there's no doubt this is a fossil. Incredible, wonderful, remarkable. My intuition was impeccable. There are fossils on this island. But I digress. Back to the matter of wink. I must have said you're fabulous fine. Let me see here. Mm -hmm. Indeed. This is most assuredly a mega, mega zero tail. My feathers, what a fabulous fossil. This is mega zero tail. It will be a sizable set to open in the museum. I wonder, would you perhaps consider donating? Sure, dude. When I gave you a short presentation on the topic, I'm quite knowledgeable. Well, okay, sure. Wonderful. This fascinating stuff, I assure you. Now, where to begin? Oh, I have been hoping someone will bring me a mega serops. This large fellow was a bit like a modern rhinoceros, but with two horns on its nose. Sadly, their small teeth restricted them to a diet of rather soft plants, and eventually they died out. I feel there's a valuable lesson to be had there about learning to enjoy a variety of foods. And that is what I have to say about that. Any hoot, I will gladly accept your generous donation. I only hope we can find what remains of this possible and display it in its fully assembled form. Many thanks to you and best of luck. Only especially such as myself can appraise a newly discovered fossil to determine its proper designation. From now on, do please bring me any fossils of no origins you find. Whether or not you choose to donate it, it's up to you. The way I should gladly assess it. By the by, I wonder if you have anything else that could be donated. And if yes, I do. I think. Um, this little centipede. I know you love bugs. In that case, the centipede's name means 100 legs, but I tell you now, that's a lie. These ugly bugs can have as few as a 15 pairs of legs or as many as 171. But because of how their bodies are segmented, they never had exactly a hunt. <laughs> you get a goldfish? It's true. You know what else is true? Sandinis are carnivorous, aggressive, and venomous. And their bite is quite painful, too. Any hoot, my sincere thanks for your donation. And though bugs are the bane of my existence, rest assured that rush things will get the best of care here. Seven more donations. That beach. You can't display them in your house. You giving me this fossil? Thank you. Joint. Can you put them in my floor? That is so sad. Can I make a, a jumping pole and give it to Cap? I wonder. Cause I can drop it. If I'm taking any of these butterflies, actually, okay, cap. Your love, can't you do this? Oh, you can't decorate with company, huh? Hmm. 
Well, that was fast. Better link. Well, I haven't seen most of these in the daylight. I don't, I don't know if I should... supposed to get you buried in the sand somewhere oh I'm supposed to be doing that raid the other things that squirt water Like how I did it. Yep. Found a communicator part. All five. Each. Where's one around here? I knew those thingy squirting water were weird. Isn't there one right here? Hmm. Maybe not. The match is re. There's one. I'll eventually find the shovel. Got a manila clam. Oh shit. What? Fish bait? Did you just poop a peach? Please. Is there anything in the little one? No froggies? Hamster cage? Does it have a hamster? I found an ore fish yesterday. That one shocked me. I already gave it to the museum though, because those are. I don't know how rare they are. I have a hamster. What should I name the hamster? Butters. It's appropriate name. Was a gerbil. Let me wait and see. What about his brother, WikiLeaks? Yes. 
Another communicator part. And a third communicator part. Let me win. I haven't seen any big fishies or any fishies at all in the ocean. I also got a sturgeon yesterday, which was, I'm not sure, I think a sturgeon is a river fish. That's a little hole. I found a fossil. Bonafide finder. I think I can buy stuff with this amount of miles. Yoink. What is tasty? You like to learn more about this class and then uh, I see in that case um allow me to enlighten you. The yellow butterfly is named for its yellow wings. Did I say more? If I must then allow me to know that the female yellow butterfly can lay up to six hundred eggs at a time. Leak. The creepy crawly caterpillars just love to chomp a clover plant, a recipe for disaster, I say. Just imagine reaching for a four-leaf clover only to touch a larva instead. Yup. Eddie Hood, my sincerest thanks for your donation. Wonderful, I would love nothing more. Beaterlings hide their eggs inside large bye balls like plants where the young can stay safe on the ground. The bitterling isn't being sneaky, no, their young help keeps the bivalve healthy by eating invading parasites. It's a wonderful bit of evolutionary deal making, don't you think? Each one keeping the other safe. Though so eating parasites does not sound like a happy childhood, is that why the fish is so bitter? <laughs> Assess all of this. Oh, I can assess more than one. Thank God. I know tell. Me, you're stuck shaking a tree. You'll be Tom New Trench Granadino. Oh, it looks like someone quietly left. So for some reason my phone is in the floor.
Actually. If he got you in 50k dead, 50k dude, Tom New, almost 100k dead with him right now. Wait. Wait what do you mean you, I have nothing? Did I already donate everything? I'm confusion. Are you dropping weed? Where are the ones I'm missing? I don't see anymore. Ooh, there's one right there. I found that's four. One more. Anyone see a little hole pooping water? There's a fishy right there. Let's fish it. Go on the box. This is the last. Now the surgeons are huge. There's another sea last. Let me go to this fella right here. Donate it to the museum. Yeah, like at first, donate everything to the museum. I want to get this. I was going to get it earlier and then just keep forgetting. <laughs> I can easily switch tools when I'm outside. I can press. 